school is preparing to send a team of its pupils down to Chester in a couple of weeks to compete in the national finals of an F1 building competition. Um, Formula One in schools is a, a STEM competition about designing and making a miniaturised F1 car, which we then took down to Bolton Uni on the 18th of March and raced it in the process, winning best engineer car, fastest car, and overall first place for Northwest. So we're racing the car again at Nationals on 11th and 12th of March. On a normal pop F1 car, you'd need to go around corners, so you need a lot of downforce, whereas on this it's just a straight drag race using a, a CO2 tank in the back. So you just need it to be as aerodynamic and light as possible. It basically just lashed together the entire syllabus for the entirety of school, stuck it stuck under F1 and given it to us all. <laughs> Uh, the competition is international, so if we win in Chester in uh, March, then we go to the international competition, which I don't know where it is. Singapore. Yeah, Singapore this year. Yeah, we have won the regionals two years running, so we've at least got a degree of experience to be able to attempt to do something at nationals. The team described what it felt like to come away victorious from the regional championships. Uh, there's a significant amount of disbelief because at that, at that point we were kind of debating whether or not we'd made any significant errors that meant we were allowed to win. Relief. Where was it? Just a <laughs> sigh of, ah, it's all that. But actually it turns out it's gone there. We've been doing quite a lot of work on the car and the, the enterprise bits, like sponsors and the pit display, we work on the pit display now so that's going to be a significantly bigger job than it was last time. So we're, we're doing that at the moment, aren't we? The pupils, along with their sixth teammate Timothy Race, set up social media accounts and put on cake sales to raise money for the project. One element of the competition involved how independent and self-sustaining the team are, and teaching staff at the school so they didn't have to lend too big of a hand. Surprisingly not. It was more a case of pointing them in the right direction, give them a little bit of uh, information, and they got on and, and did it. In a way, the way they, they get on with stuff, they delegate jobs to each other. The fact they've raised hundreds of pounds of sponsorship off their own bat. Um, and as I say, they, they know what they want to do. Occasionally they don't know exactly how to do it, they just need a bit of guidance in that way. And we have a thing in school about emotional intelligence. And that those are the sort of soft skills that you can't actually teach, so they're sort of inherent within the pupils. And uh, they, they, they really do themselves proud. But the people say that they are grateful for the help they did receive, having been sponsored by a host of local businesses that they themselves organised. Yeah, Mr Fit is willing to, is willing to stay until 7 o'clock to get a car cut, so a lot of support. Yes, um, Total Engineering, uh, they came in for, for meetings with our team uh, twice and they just went over stuff like what they could do for us and how they could help. Um, Wickton Electrical as well, um, Cowan's and Stitch, Stitch and Print. Print. Stitch and Print made these shirts for us at a discount. Happily putting their logo on everybody else's on the sleeves. And then we've got some new sponsors out there. We've got. Yeah, we've got new sponsors, uh, Brookside Garage and Stamp Park. Yeah. Trial Engineering, not only have they helped us with what they could do, they've given us other companies that could also help us, just really helping us. And <coughs> Of a friend sort of thing rather than just a company looking to see what they can get out of it. With two weeks to go, the pupils will be focused entirely on the finals. But there's no doubt in the back of their mind that there must be a part that's wondering how they could raise money for flights to Singapore. Kira McFadgen, that's TV.